Hey, good evening, everyone. Kim Lagrataria here, and I'm here to talk to you about a quick Nutrition 101 crash course on how to get started right. You are in our challenge group, and we are here to give you some tips over the next couple of weeks that are gonna help make your transition into a healthier lifestyle a lot easier. And these are things that we're going to be able to give you and you're gonna be able to apply them the next day or immediately, but that's what's so cool about this. So everything we're doing is going to apply to your life in some way, shape or form. And there's no better way to start than cleaning out your cabinets, cleaning out your pantry, cleaning, cleaning out your fridge, and starting fresh and really jumping in. So uh, I'm going to be talking about that, and then we're going to go and talk about meal planning a little bit and meal prepping. So I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible and hit you with a lot of information super fast. I'm recording this, so you'll be able to rewind and go back if you need to, to check in if I forgot anything or if I said something too fast. You're going to be able to go back and, and check it out. So I do have some slides I'm going to be sharing with you throughout. So I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth from me talking and showing you that they're basic, simple, just so if you need to write down anything, you can. And uh, we are gonna be doing this and we're gonna be giving, I'm gonna be making up some meal plans that I will be willing to share with all of you with the recipes attached to them. So you have no excuses at all to get started and to really jump into this healthy lifestyle. So let's see. Here is our little presentation. So what you see here is just simple things of what we are going to go over. And like I said, I'm not gonna go into anything super crazy, but I am gonna break it down for you super quick. So cleaning out your pantry is the first thing. Clean house, get rid of everything. And this is, I know, is some of the hardest things for you to do. And mostly because nobody likes to waste anything. But Sometimes you have to. So our first thing we're going to do is you're gonna open up your fridge, open up your cabinets. You're gonna go in and you're gonna throw out anything that's open and that is not healthy or good for you. The Oreos, all right? Um, any junk food, the candy, potato chips, cheese doodles, whatever is in there, you're gonna throw them out. Why? because those medical bills later down the road, whether it is from your dentist or your regular doctor, that you're gonna to have to be paying are a lot more than the money that you're gonna be putting in the trash can. You don't have to worry about it, and then immediately you can start fresh right now, knowing that there is no threat there in the garbage. You need to put something stinky on top of them so you don't dig them back out if you're that desperate, do it. It's not worth it. You've made a commitment to yourself. You made a commitment to a fitness program and to Shakeology, and you need to start committing to your nutrition. Abs are made in the kitchen, not anywhere else. So you need to make this a priority. So throw it away and do not feel bad, guilty, or anything. Feel empowered. Most people don't have that. And do not even think about taking one last brownie or one last cookie out of that container. It's not going to be worth it. So now you have all, you're looking and you have all of these boxes and cans of items that are brand new, never been used. I want you to get a bag and I want you to donate it. It's going to be, gonna, you're going to drop it off at your local food bank and it could be uh, Velveeta mac and cheese or the Kraft mac and cheese. You're going to make your own healthier version from now on, okay? Soups, those are loaded with sodium and other preservatives that you don't even know about. Donate them. You're going to be making fresh soups. I have plenty of delicious, seriously easy. I made chicken soup in a half an hour and that was with chopping everything, cooking it and done. All right, so you are moving on here. So donate it. You're doing something good. So now you should feel empowered because you just got rid of all that crap that most people give into. And now you are doing something good. You are giving someone those Pop Tarts, whatever it is. Check the label. I guarantee that most of those items in there that are boxed up brand new have sugar in them. I guarantee it. Donate it. Start fresh. All right. Then from there, what you're going to do is you're gonna reorganize and prioritize your shelves. You want what you're gonna be using, the healthy snacks, the things that, that you're gonna cook. My pantry, if you go in and look at it, it's mostly canned uh, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and things like that. Um, 
My Shakeology is right smack in the middle. Um, I have emergency bars like RX and Lara bars. And I can, it, mine's not that I should have organized before I did this, but I can show you. So you can see raw, unorganized, but semi-organized cabinet proof that you can do this. And then the things like the pancake mix that you don't want to get rid of because maybe one day you can find a healthier alternative or whatever, maybe a cake mix for emergency. I have that too on the top shelf. Things that you don't use, put them up higher, out of reach, things like that. Um, I also keep all of my like my potatoes and my onions in there so when I go and look, I see the healthy food. And the next thing I want you to do is when you're cleaning up, if you have recipes, start a recipe box. I do everything. I'm starting to upload everything to my website, so I'll have everything there. If not, I have my Pinterest boards, and you can post all your recipes there. It's going to make everything easier. You're transitioning now from what's convenient and easy and what you used to think was delicious to something now that is going to make you feel good, know that it's delicious, and have zero guilt at the end of the day. You want to go to bed knowing that you are full, you are satisfied, and you have zero guilt about what you are putting into your body. So as you are going through this, I know that's like super hard for so many of you, and it can cause so much anxiety. Trust me, I have been there. I have a thing of peanut brittle. It's homemade from my stepmom, and it is the best peanut brittle you can imagine in the world, I swear to you. And it is unopened. Because the minute that I open it, it's going to be gone. And I'm not talking about getting thrown out. That's like something that as soon as someone sees that it's open, it's an excuse to finish it. And I do not want to go there. And yes, it's almost March already, right? It was just Valentine's Day. And it's, I got it for Christmas. And I'll show it to you. It's still there. So make this a priority. When it comes to your fridge, I'm going to trap. You're going to travel with me. You're going to see the mess. And I don't care. Um, when you are cleaning up your fridge, same thing. You're going to organize it. So you're going to see here. Let me just move this so you can see everything just fine. So like I have, doo -doo -doo -doo. when you open it up, I have my Shakeology and my quick oats. And then here are, I have some beans. These are things that I don't use as much and some um, emergency salmon and tuna. And then you can see I have my husband was sick, but this is what you should donate, the chicorina soup with meatballs. And um, my pasta, I have not replenished in a long time because I stopped eating it, but it's back here where I have a hard time reaching. Up here is my backup chicken broth and things, and you can see um, that soy sauce up there. I don't use it anymore. I bought it because I was making a ton of teriyaki sauce, which is loaded with sugar, and I stopped doing that, so I got to donate. Those are things to donate. And same thing with that salad dressing. Um, things that I can donate, but this was just there was no room at the time. So that is a good thing But my emergency cake and things like that um, Then over here. This is like Joey's so you can see like I don't my pantry is getting smaller and smaller because I'm eating more and more out of the fridge, but my almond butter my peanut butter look right where I can grab and then here is um, emergency so if you're looking for something crunchy uh, brown rice uh, brown rice cakes and then in here are my emergency rx bars there we go i have a whole container full of them rx bars and epic bars things like that i think there's a few layer bars in there and these are joey's emergency snacks so he can grab them um things that could go and then down here is um the kiddo stuff and then my potatoes and things like that and then my backup Shakeology. So if I ever run out, it's ready to go. So as you can see, it's all things that are are good for you. And if not, you gotta donate it. Like that chicorina soup, it's gotta go. But things are that you can easily make a change and adjustment. All right. For your refrigerator, the same thing. You need to clean it out. You should not have a lot of jellies or that salad dressing. You need to check the labels to make sure that it's not loaded with sugar. Even though it's low fat or fat free, you still got to check it. There's so many ingredients in there you have no idea about. I swear by and love olive oil. Today I made a salad, mixed greens and a can of tuna fish, uh, some cherry tomatoes, and I put in avocado, and I put in half of a lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper, and it was to die for. I also put some caramelized onions on it too. So you can find flavors and things like that 
that are going to be just as good, if not better, without that guilt. So don't ever feel like you need to hold on to a salad dressing for emergencies. You're just going to end up using that ranch dressing that's loaded with empty calories. Seriously, empty calories. You don't need it. Um, and not to mention that if you reach out to your coaches, we have healthier versions of all these salad dressings that you can make in a minute. I have, so, I have two different ranch dressings that I make that I can share with you that are guilt-free. So feel free to reach out to me. I would love, love, love to share that with you. So, all right. So once you clean everything out, you might as well, while you're in there, you know, wipe down the cabinets, get a head start. But from there, what you need to do then is you need to refill those things, those shelves. And the best way to do this is to plan it out. So I'm going to show you and talk to you about what I do. Now this may not work for everybody, but it is what, what works best for me. So, you know, every day in the mail, not every day, every week in the mail, you get, this is my favorite, ShopRite, you get the, the circulars, the weekly circulars. And this is where I start my meal planning. And so I go through here and I look at what's on sale, All right? People, we're, we're not rich over here, we're just making it happen. I'm on teacher salary here, all right? And so I know from here, like I'm actually really excited. Asparagus is on sale this week, all right? So you're gonna go on and you're gonna see what's on sale. And then you're going to pick out your healthy recipes based off of that. So I know our chicken's on sale, so I'm gonna have a chicken meal. Our ground beef is on sale, so we're gonna do a ground beef meal. Um, and the pork chops, so there's three there. And then also down here, I see that our, I have a choice for fish. So the flounder is the cheapest, but I'm a, real, a salmon girl and the salmon's on sale. It's a dollar off a pound. That's huge. So I'll make sure I add a, a salmon meal. Then from there, I go, I'm going to show my screen now. Let's um, share screen. And what you're going to do then is you're going to, you can go on uh, my Pinterest, you can go on anybody's on Pinterest just in general, and you're going to be able to, let me see, I have so many things opened, so I got to find, here, here we go. So you're going to go on and you're going to find your recipes. I will share this with you if you want. <coughs> this is my meal plan for the week. So... I usually do this on Fridays and I do my shopping on Friday nights and I pick up, I order all my groceries online. So the same circular I showed you is online too. So it's great because I can just click on the sale item and add it to my cart. Um, so I do all that and then I go on here and I make up my meal plan. I'm not going to lie to you breakfast every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's the same thing. I have the, I make a frittata, um, sharing the recipe uh, with you this weekend and it'll be on my website shortly and it's the same thing I do a layer of potatoes a layer of chicken sausage and then I do a layer of spinach sun-dried tomatoes and I load up eight eggs one cup of almond milk bake it for 30 minutes covered 30 minutes uncovered at 350 and that lasts my husband and I th three days and then uh, maybe I'll get a fourth day out of it if he's home one day during the week and makes a full breakfast rather than this. Um, then I plan out everything else for what I'm going to be doing. I plan out my snacks, I plan out my lunches, and I plan out my dinners. Now, with my dinners, as you see down here, what I try to do is I try to plan for some leftovers during the week. Uh, if and this really helps when it comes to your budget also. So when you're planning out, if you're looking for a side or anything like that, I want you to think about what's in season. So like asparagus is really <coughs> expensive, but it's on sale this week. So I'm going to definitely, I'll probably do asparagus uh, as a side 100%. And that's great because I could do like one pot, one pan cooking with the salmon and the asparagus all in the same pan and the oven at the same time it takes about the same amount of time to cook that'd be phenomenal um so i know exactly what i'm going to be cooking and and it's harder i know it takes a little bit more time but if you have it to buy things like buy zucchini and then make the zoodles out of it yourself it just helps a little bit with with time um real quick i want to show you while i'm sharing my screen here go back to 
everything else. When you are shopping to help you save some budget, you're gonna go on, uh, you can search this, it's super easy, or to come back here. These are things where you can cut and, and save some money when you're grocery shopping. Where to skip organic and where to buy organic. So your dirty dozen are what the, the things that you should be buying organic. Apples, celery, cherry, tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, nectarines, peaches, potatoes, snap peas, spinach, strawberries, and sweet bell peppers. Now, uh, a lot of people will say like all the berries too, you can add them in. Um, but you know, it's gonna vary a little bit. And that dirty dozen, I'm going to be honest with you. There are times where I buy organic and like this week we're short on money. So I didn't buy anything organic and I just made sure that I washed it. No, it's not ideal for me, but I know that's the best way. At least we are getting some fruit and vegetables into our diet. Um, the clean 15, these are things that you should not be buying organic. Um, asparagus, avocados, cabbage, cantaloupe, cauliflower, eggplant, grapefruit, kiwi, um, uh, Sweet peas, sweet potatoes, sweet corn, pineapple, papayas, onions, and mangoes. And if you think about it, most of these have like a skin on them of some sort, like bananas, um, where you're going to peel it off. So if there is pesticides on the outside, you're not going to be getting it. So that's the main thing there. Peanuts, also, if you're going to be buying organic nuts and things like that, do not buy organic peanuts. It's the one thing on there. They actually have the pesticides on there to help them um, – so it's actually a little bit healthier for you based off of the bacteria and things that they could grow. So there's some info for you. A couple other things for, um, sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. A couple other things that you can think about when it's coming down to um, saving some money and things. Don't be afraid to buy store store brands. When I shop at Wegmans, I only buy Wegman products. I actually love them. Um, ShopRite, there's certain things that I will buy that are store brand. It's just a great way to cut back on some cash. And by law, most of the things have to have the, the same main ingredients. And you can go on and you can actually check out and see what those, you can compare them right there. So it's not that big of a difference. Uh, buy in bulk. Once a month, I go to Costco, you know, BJ's, any of those Sam's, Sam's clubs, things like that. Buy in bulk, which helps there. Like I know that I buy, um, I eat a lot of chicken, so I buy chicken from there. Another thing to help save money there. Don't be afraid to buy the chicken thighs. They are delicious. They are juicier, and a lot of times they taste better. It's like gone into like a, a major mindset in our culture that chicken breasts are the way to go. But don't be afraid to throw some drumsticks and some chicken wings in there. Uh, just to switch it up. Turkey. Chicken is like through the roof, like the most popular protein probably out there right now. Don't be afraid to go and buy some turkey. It's a poultry and and it's good for you. And actually, since it's not as mass produced, it, you may not even get as many uh, hormones and things like that. It's not as genetically modified. So something else that you can think of. And sometimes turkey is a little cheaper. When it comes to your fruits and veggies, don't be afraid to save money and cut back and buy frozen. Um, no, and like when you're shopping, try to shop around the outside of the grocery store. So what I do is I make my list based off of what's on sale. And then I go on and I write down like my necessities of things that I need. And then when I'm, if I'm at the store, I always start in the produce, go through there and I make my way around through all the meats and then back around and out through the refrigerated area. Very rarely I go into the aisles. Things I go in the aisles for are spices and seltzer. <laughs> but I usually, on the most part, I do not go and, and go into there. So uh, those are some things. Oh, also in cross use. So say if you buy um, some strawberries, you buy in bulk, you have so many strawberries and you have all these and you're like, there's no way I'm gonna eat them, they're gonna go bad. So what you do is you, you clean them up Cut them up and put them in your freezer. They're really delicious in wine. I mean, they're really delicious in having them in like seltzer and things like that. Put them in your smoothies and your Shakeology. But they're really great in replacement of ice cubes in your wine. Throw some in and make some homemade sangria. So just so you know, multi multitask and multi-use of what you're buying. 
All right, now down to the dirty details of meal prepping. I, I would love to go live with you on a Sunday when I'm doing this, but you can, I literally, I make all my meals for the week in two hours, that's it. So this is what you do. And you're gonna pick a day out of the week. Mine's always Sunday. I usually do it from eight to 10 o'clock at night after I put my little one down to bed. I, I put on some music, I have me time, and I get ready for the week. It's like my therapy, stress reliever in order to get into the week. And what I do then is I have all my meals picked out and I have them written down. So whether it's on there or maybe you just wanna write them down on a list, that's fine. I, there are other things that you can buy um, where it, it has just straight up for your meal plan on like Etsy and things sometimes um, on my old other calendar. You could also just write them in your calendar. Let me grab it. So if you want, just like old school, you have your old calendar here. So you can just literally write them out so you know what you're having for the week and you can always check in there. Um, and, and what you're going to do is you're going to start what I do is I start with my meats and I try to cook as many of my meats as possible. Baking will save you a lot of time with cleanup. If you know, if you roast a couple chickens or you just put a couple chicken breasts or a couple things on a pan and you throw them in, this way you don't have to worry about uh, clean, making the, the stove top a mess and you're going to be able to cook a lot at the same time. What's also great about that is that you can use the stove top while your meats are cooking. So once my meats are in, that's when I do things like I make my cauliflower rice, I prepare my vegetables and things like that. So once your meat's in the oven cooking, healthiest way to do it to get it baked, then you're going to prepare maybe any rice that you're going to be having for the week, quinoa, and your um like I do a lot of cauliflower rice, zoodles, you can, you can make them, things like that. And you can cook them right then and there. And you can keep them super bland, or if you know you're using certain spices for a meal or like similar spices and you're making for multiple, go ahead and throw them in. Um, so that, that will help. And then store them away. Um, after that, then I go down and I prepare all of my fruits and vegetables. I wash all my fruits, I cut them, and what I like to do is I like to sort them out. So if you're with us with Beachbody, you have these wonderful containers. So we have, I don't have all of them, of course my yellow one's missing, the coveted yellow one. So, you know, our fruits and vegetables, our protein, this is my favorite salad dressing holder, our oils and seeds. And what you're gonna do is you plant them out. So what I do is I fill up my strawberries and do this, and I dump them into regular Tupperware containers. I seal them up and I stack them in. So all my strawberries are in the fridge, ready to go. So if I'm, or my, my veggies, whatever it is, everything is sealed up. So I use these and I'll fill them in, but I also use, I wanna plan for the week, and I only have two of these, so I wanna make sure I'm getting it. So I, I plan it all out. And I throw them in the fridge so that way if I ever am snacking, I can go in and grab a thing of something healthy, guilt-free, that's going to satisfy me. Um, so I clean and cut everything uh, for my fruits, and that's easy. For my vegetables, whatever veggies I'm having for the week for my meals, I cut it all. I take about six to ten onions, I peel them, and I cut them into wedges. I throw them in my food processor, and I chop them that way. And I put them in a big Tupperware, and I throw them in the fridge. So that way, as I'm cooking throughout the week, it says I need a cup of onions or like one onion diced up. I literally scoop it out, and it's ready to go. It's amazing. It literally, like, I cry, I bawl, I sob when it comes to onions. Not anymore, because now I have it all set up, ready to go. And it, it saves so much time peppers, things like that. I will make everything. And there was like, uh, last time when I did fried rice, uh, fried cauliflower rice, I diced up the cauliflower, I put the garlic and um, onions all in one container. So when it came time to cook, I put my healthy cooking fat on it, I dumped the whole container in and it was ready to go. And then that container just had veggies in it. So when I was all done, I, I put it back in there. And what I do after that then is if I'm making any sauces, so like any homemade barbecue sauces, salad dressings, or um, marinades, anything, I make them then. That is probably like the biggest thing I do and I don't want to leave out because if there's times where I do leave that out, next thing I know I am grabbing like the ranch dressing that is in there and I actually threw that out last week because I did not want to be tempted by it. 
All right. When you're done, what I like to do then is I like to categorize it and put it into my Tupperware based off of how I'm going to be serving it. So if they're my lunches, I make them into smaller containers so I can get grab and go. And then if it's my snacks, same thing. And I categorize it. Like I was saying, with prioritizing and organizing your, your pantry, you're going to do the same thing in your fridge. You're going to make sure that you are, that you are going to be able to grab and go. So my, my salad dressings and things like that are on the doors, my, my milk and like my seltzers and things are there. And then everything else is organized. My, I'm out, almost out of food, I ate everything. A Couple things that I thought of that happened to me today that I just wanted to throw in there before we wrap up here. But you can make a list on the outside of your fridge of things like, I've been struggling the last couple of weeks where I buy a steak and I'm like, oh, well, I would rather cook that fresh rather than doing it on Sunday because I make it for the end of the week. And I go like tonight and I pull it out and it was tie dyed. It was all different colors and nasty. So what I need to do is on the outside of my refrigerator, I need to write sirloin steak and expires February 13th. So I know that I either need to freeze it before then and pull it back out or I need to cook it so it's good to go for that. A um, couple other things, when you're meal planning and prepping, don't be afraid to buy in bulk in order to make more. So I buy like that five pounds of, of uh, ground pork when it's there. First of all, it's like super hard to find in my grocery store. But then what I do is I when I make those pork meatballs, I make five pounds of it and then I freeze them. So on a night like tonight when my dinner, if you saw my live video tonight, like things just were not going well. I could have pulled out those pork meatballs. I could have defrosted them. They were already cooked. I have sauce already in my freezer. I always do a double batch when I make it. I could have pulled that out and I had dinner ready to go. Seriously, these are little shortcuts. I hope this is helpful and I hope that you found something, you were able to take something away from it. But make sure when you're doing this to have confidence and have that willpower to help you get through this. It is so hard cleaning out everything in the beginning, but you need to be confident. And just like you commit to your workouts, you need to commit to clean eating if you want to see those results. It's not always going to be easy, but that's what we're here for. We're going to share our recipes. We're going to share our tips, and we are going to be here. So if you have a hard time holding that bag of chocolate to get rid of it, what I like to do is I like to bring it and give it to somebody and make it their problem. Like I got a bag of chocolate covered pretzels as a gift as a, as a teacher, and I brought it to my in-laws, and I said, thanks for babysitting my son. Here are your chocolate covered pretzels. They were extremely grateful. I was super happy. I didn't have to worry about them hanging around my house and it was a win-win. So do not be afraid, all right? And stick to it. So just like you're scheduling your workouts in every day, start scheduling what day you're going to meal plan. And if you wanna try online shopping, I, I love it because I don't get caught up buying anything I don't need or anything extra. Or if you like to go and see your options and get new ideas, that's fine too. Make a list so you stick to it. And just really be committed to this and you will, become it will become a habit for you and if i skipped it like i did this week i admitted this week i did skip uh i planned out my meals and i did my grocery shopping but i never did the prep and it really backfired on me tonight so it makes me more grateful that i have these tools here and i am able to do this so thank you everyone for jumping in and i hope i didn't talk too much and diarrhea of the mouth at you as i said last time so i hope you all have a good night and uh, if any of you have any questions that are on, let me know if you want to add anything in. I don't know, April, do you have anything? Are you good? Awesome. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to be posting this. And awesome. Thank you. Uh, I hope I covered everything in the comments of this. Please give me some feedback so I know where to help you. And I hope you all have a good night. All right. We'll see you tomorrow with checking in. Have a good one.